cash app she made illegally, committing felonies illegally. When what I you going to do when it, for it? Then you can tell me I've been doing it illegally. But until it, then, but it is illegal. It is illegal. It is illegal. It is illegal. In my up. opinion, you're just as much of an addict as she is. What you're doing is addict behavior. Um, can we still kind of answer that though? Um, uh, oh, I, I, I'm trying to think of what I wanted to say. If you do listen, I didn't know that that had came out that conversation, but I guess if you go listen to it, because I do remember it, I was the one that said that, not you though. I, I brought that up and said, you know, if when I go, I tell them you, you know, I was the one that said that, so. It's not a big deal. They really, I mean, they can think I want notoriety for it. I don't care. I just want you to go to rehab. I've been saying that since day one. So, mm -hmm. that doesn't change my feelings on it. I still want you to go. I don't care if I get credit for it. Fuck. I don't care. If, no one should get credit for it but you. As long as you get in that car and you go get help. You're the only person that should be getting the notoriety for it. Like, you should, you're making that decision to do that for yourself. That's it. Um, yeah, and I don't think I'm a celebrity in any sort at all. Like, this is not fame or celebrity or it's what 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 do you even want to call it? It's people hate watch. Okay, um, it's. I don't know why people say that all the time, but I do not think that at all. I've said that multiple times. Okay, Fern, you can go. Hello. Um, so I just want to say, um, Kim, you really need to let Lisa speak on the matters. You need to, like, shut the fuck up and let her speak. This is Lisa talking, not um, Kim day to day. This is Lisa day to day. This is surviving Lisa, not surviving Kim. Okay, so let Lisa talk. Take a step back, mute yourself, and let Lisa do the talking, answering the questions, and anything well, that Lisa has, Lisa goes. To be, to be fair, I do get nervous. And she, I did ask her to be up here. So to be fair, she did ask me when the last lady said that she texted me and said, do you want me to go down? And I was like, no, like, I appreciate you kind of keeping me on track. So just to be fair, you know, I, I know Lisa, but you need to answer your own questions. Um, I understand if that I, everybody gets I, nervous. On it, I'm going to give her my input on it. If that's what, well, she's, that's what I'm going to do. And I thought you were answering stuff that was directed at you, right? I like was, was, but people don't pay attention to that shit. They just like to sit there and think I'm talking for you. No, Kim's the more timid one, I promise. Okay, Hodge, your turn. You're doing great. You're doing Me? great. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be mean like <laughs> like them. I wanted you to say, um, I am clean now for nine years, but I <laughs> relapsed too. And I wanted to say, um, I know how you feel, Lisa. So um, just um, keep your, I hope not true. Try I to keep your head up. up. And remember about, I sound drunk. Okay, I'm not. I'm nervous. Um, that being said. You just, you just got to ignore the chat. I haven't even. Um, I Me mean, either. I don't have it up. I'm sorry. I'm nervous. I don't usually talk like this. I just want to tell you, Lisa, to, to ignore everybody else. Keep, um, keep uh, your head up. Think about your kids and your mm -hmm. family, and try to keep and go get yourself sober. Okay, that's all. Yes, ma'am, and I appreciate that, and I really hope that you don't feel like I do, because I hope nobody, even my worst enemy, would ever feel like that. Right. But um, 
I appreciate what you're saying. Like you went through it, you know, the emotions that go with a lot of it. So. Thank you. No, thank you. And I appreciate it and be safe. Have a safe night. Is it Kai, Kai Betone? You can just say Kai. Kai. So I'm going to be honest. I think that, Kim, you don't really want Lisa to go anywhere. You get attention that you obviously were seeking before, Lisa, with your, you know, page about scammers and such. And then ironically, teamed up with one of the biggest scammers on TikTok and hung on. You released all this information, keep saying that you have nothing to do with her. You will have nothing to do with her. Lisa said the other day that she's not involved with you and doesn't talk to you anymore. And within hours, you guys pop up back together and do the same stuff. I think that Lisa, you need to drop her. She's doing you a huge disservice by being in your life and will continue to do so. So if you really want to get help, which at this point, I don't think you fully do you ju just yet. But if you do want me, that is the key. OK, but I haven't quite figured out what her angle would be with that, though, because attention, literally, right, which was She's going nowhere. What's that? Which was going nowhere. She was talking about you on that that particular platform, and then became your your best bud. And if she's from truly, up and you're gonna tell me I made I, it's going nowhere. It's going nowhere because as soon as I met Lisa, I stopped posting. Yeah. Um, well, so you can't. That's because that. your your angle then became uh, Lisa and nothing else. Your whole world resolve, revolves around Lisa, which is is sad. So yeah, but a lot of people gaining followers off of her. Lisa, Nobody you're never gonna make an actual that. true friend in this situation because you always come back and ask for money. Nobody no, wants to be right. friends with somebody who constantly asks for me. money that I lies agree. to them. If you don't want to do better for your your children and your parents and your family and just for yourself, yeah. why would anybody want to be a friend to somebody who doesn't want to do more for themselves? What what do I get out of that friendship? What right. Kim gets out of the, your friendship is attention. Her name being brought up frequently. Her name being out there. She that that's literally all she's getting out of the friendship with you i read through those text messages not once did you ever say hey kim how are you how's your day are you doing okay never not one time did you text her and ask her how she was I doing I, now, I agree clearly i can't speak on phone calls but if you're not asking via text i doubt you're asking on the phones that's just the reality of it you are so deep in your addiction that right now I hardcore think that this is just another money grab and something's coming. Something no. is down the pipeline and you're going to come back and say, me and Kim aren't friends anymore. Fuck Kim. Fuck this. Fuck that. I just need money for food. The other day, you keep saying you're going to NA meetings. You're not. We know you're not. You got busted with the car alarm in the background. It's posted all over TikTok. You were on your dad's street claiming you had to walk four miles to get home. I don't you didn't know, know. You don't know the serenity prayer. The reason you paused and kept kind of like holding when the girl asked you is so you could Google it. And the reason I know that is because the serenity prayer, when they say it at NA meetings, stops at a certain point, and you literally read the entire thing. No, I didn't have time. That's why I actually wanted to do it that quick. And I was like, "You ready? You say ready? It now. Say it now. Say, say it now. Say it now. Right the second. Start now." God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with you forever in the next. Amen.
That's how we say it twice at the one I go to. I mean, I don't know if they're all different. This is the first time I've actually. I get there. I, I okay. You did good. You did fine. I mean, that's the way. I don't know if they're all the same. I know there's probably more NEs in PA, but you know, this one I just is the closest. So that's how they do it at the beginning and at the end before we get out. It's just crazy to me that they're like, I'm your friend because I want my name brought up because, and yeah. Well, love. you didn't even want your name out. SS, we'll say, um, was the one who put your name out and you were horrified and crying for days and asking me what to do. And I was trying to give you advice when that well, happened. My favorite part about be my name being out is from people telling me that they should like they're gonna come look for me and put a a bullet in my brain that's really fun and just mm -hmm. getting torn up every single fucking day as if my image is tarnished just for being your friend but no i i like to use you lisa well like i said i'm not sure exactly what because you know most people that befriend me, as you've seen, you know, are are looking for something. I don't know what, but something. Um, it always comes out in the end. But I have not been able to find the angle yet from her. And I understand people are like, why would you do all that for free? I I'm with you on that. I don't know. I mean, you have to ask her that. I I've already I've already explained why I do it. You you I care. Socially awkward fucking person. I like to sit in my house and do nothing. I have no friends. I know. So I'm a friend. Came around, I fucking att like attached on to you. It's not because I thought that you could get my name out there and get me fucking harassed in my address docs and have me posted on 4chan I and fucking all these other websites. Like, no. Mm -hmm. We get along and we click, and if they can't accept the fact that I like you as a person and that you deserve friends and love too, then I don't know. I don't know. There's not much more I could say about it. Like, no, I'm your friend because I want to be. Like, I'm your friend because you deserve to have friends that aren't telling you to go fucking OD or just, like, literally yeah. people text you just to post the proof the next day. I know. People send you DoorDash just mm -hmm. to post it and be like, hey, yeah, I DoorDashed this for Lisa to try and get notoriety for it, to try and get fucking recognition for it. Like, get the fuck out of here. Half these people don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. Well, and I'd find out with y'all the next day when the damn screenshots came out because nine times out of ten it was stolen when i was at the other place i'm like wait what they sent that like i wish i'd have got that mother after bro Gosh. right I mean, they won't believe me but you know you know what i'm talking about yeah no. ghost face it's your turn okay can you hear me yes i can hear you okay I'm, I'm nervous. I'm sorry. I've I never can't done. Hear her. Her her mic is muted. Hers is. I heard her. I've unmuted. Unmute. I heard her. I can. Hear I did. Her. There you go. She was muted. Oh, oh I can hear her. Okay. I mean, I've never done this. I'm nervous. Can I just have a couple. <laughs> I have a couple questions. Um, about the page that y'all were talking about earlier. Um, if you couldn't get into the page how did the how was the other person able to get in the page with no email or password because i had access to it so it was a page you had access to correct okay 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 and another question i have is do, do you have your chip for your na meeting lisa Your ship? What's that mean? Ship. Sorry, oh, my screen it. went. Do I have it? Yes. Yes. My twenty-four Which hour. You... Yes. My just my twenty-four hour. Why not your week? Because I haven't hit a whole week yet. 
you said you were you had been going for weeks. Nope. She's been going to the meeting for weeks. She stopped using the day before yesterday. Okay. You don't, you don't collect a chip until you have a week clean or a month clean or a day clean. It actually goes to a day, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Well, I just assume she was clean since she said that, but... Well, earlier um, all, they asked, um, they asked, like, when was the last time she used? And it was the day before yesterday. Okay, I wasn't here then. I'm sorry. Um, uh, that was another question I was going to ask since you say on the lives that you don't do anything other than you go dose why you needed rehab if rehab was going to give you your methadone. Well, uh, and, I, and I'm trying to be as honest as I can, you know, with everything, with everybody, they can believe me or not, you know, but, um, you know, um, it's because they write that I'm trying to buy H or FET or something, you know, and I'm trying to like explain like, no, like I just go to the clinic. I haven't touched anything like that since I was 19, 20 years old, you know? So, so. just the other. Just the, the C, yes. Okay, and um, Kim, you said since day one you have been wanting Lisa to get help. If that's true, why have you been sending her money since day one, knowing where it was going to go, instead of just cutting her off, setting some boundaries and, and telling her, you know, no, I'm not going to help you until you go or or something like that. I don't, I don't have a answer for that question. I have an answer. I, I do. And I think it might be a good one, honestly. Um, I was thinking about this yesterday. Okay. Um, a lot of people, believe it or not, that send money are either addicts themselves or a lot of recovering addicts. Okay. So I think that they kind of feel bad or feel my pain because they've been there but saying that a lot of the worst flack that I get also in hate is from people that have recovered too right so I yeah. think him you know seeing the crying and the desperation and everything and just felt you know bad and you know um you know that's what happens a lot of the time you know with you know, th that's what I think was going on there. You know what I mean? With her. And if Lisa allows me to be brutally honest. Go ahead. I was getting strung along. So, like, when we first met, she would be like, by the time I get evicted, I'm going to a program, blah, 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 blah. Like, on that day, because she would have nowhere to go and all this. So, and then I, like, was like, I believed that. Um yeah. I didn't question her. I didn't whatever. I said, okay, when she gets evicted, she's going to a program. Um, I, one sec. I, I wasn't even trying to string you along, though, to be completely honest. Like, that's honestly what I thought. I kept thinking in my head, well, once I am homeless and have nowhere to go, that's when I'm going to go, right? So what I was telling you was the truth in my mind. It just never, like, if that, does that, if that makes sense to the people yeah, that are I it to as you strung me along but like that's just like what happened is like yeah, you I were thinking we, you were thinking i just gotta help her and get her through until this day that day that day right so she doesn't do this or do that or end up like that right and then that day gets pushed back is that what you're trying to say yeah it just kind of looks oh. like yeah well after the first couple times the She actually did, and not trying to defend her, but she did kind of learn, and that's what the hissy fits recently have been about, to be honest. That's where the calls came from. That's mm. she would start acting if I said no. So, and then I started recording the well, calls. I was, friend I, again after the phone calls. Yeah. What'd you get? Um, Anyway, so um, that's why I started recording the calls, because I can try and explain it to anybody. 
like, oh, this is how she was, this is how she was, this is what she threatened me with. But there was, like, never, like, I also couldn't explain it unless I had that valid proof, like. And, yeah. and, and listen, I've never called him and been like, if you don't give me money, I'm going on live and I'm going to, no, I, I've never done that to anybody, okay? But they, I think, with my erratic behavior, okay, are afraid of what I'm going to do or say, right? And drag them in it. Um, you know, because I do have no self-control right now. So they're afraid of what I'm going to say or expose well, or do. do you were screaming both Kim's names and when they I, weren't I, talking to you and you said that you were going to dox them. Did I really say that? Dox? Yeah. Yes. But you it, were, but it was just like a K-pin week. So you don't I mean, really I'm excuse me. But that okay, that's right. It was a week like it would have been one of the weeks you're on K pins. So a lot of the time you don't remember if you're threatening or whatever, you know. Yeah. So I just wanted to make that clear though. I don't want people thinking that like I'll call Kim and be like, Ho, oh, you're not gonna give me the twenty bitch. Well, no. It's just she sees me start to act more erratic and more erratic, right? And she knows if I go live, God knows what's going to come out of my mouth because I have no self-control right now, right? Well, what so, kind of friend is that, though? I mean, friends, well, that's not friends the only go thing. through shit all the time. Now, friends don't get along 24-7. They have their ups and downs. I've done shit. She's done shit. Yeah, I, I think that's what she was doing with the calls, though. Like, bitch, I am one up on you. I've been recording our calls, you know what I mean? And you can say whatever you want on the live, but I think that maybe was what that came from. I'm not sure. And before you know, I actually go. not talk after the calls were released. What's that? How long did y'all actually not talk to each other after the calls were released? I don't know. I mean, you want me to answer a truth? I don't know what you want me to say. I don't. I I don't have a timeline off of it. I mean, like, was there any time at all that y'all weren't talking and mad at each other, or you just went right back to being cool the next day? No, we weren't cool the next day. It was she just day. kept wanting money, and I kept saying no for a while, actually. Mm -hmm. Make her more piss. So right. And then she'd go on live again and do it again, and. It was just like I was really holding my ground to sit, like not giving her money. And she's so, been doing that to the point where I actually haven't even been asking, to be honest, because I know she's going to say no now. That's good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I I'm mean, a true friend. And I'm, I, I get mad at her now. I do. I get upset with her still sometimes. You know, like when I hang up, I'm like, bitch. You know, like, not to be mean, you know, but, um, but I'll appreciate it later when I get clean and see what she was trying to do, right? Right. She was being a true friend. That's what a true friend would do. Right. Like, I, even yesterday, I said, you know, I forget how I brought it up, but I, t I called her and I said, um, you know, I'm hungry. I have no smokes. My parents don't got no money. I need to go live and I don't. Uh, can I? Do you have a PayPal I can use? And she said, "No, I don't have any PayPal's. They're all shut down." And I know that's not true, but she's been telling me, "No, I don't have any," because she doesn't want me to use them, and I can respect that, you know. In my opinion, the people that are in your chat telling you no and not sending you money care more about you than the people that are sending you money. I I, I can respect what you're uh, that you know outlook I, I do but i think the people that do send though not all but some do think that they're helping some of them right they think okay well when i do send her 10 bucks she gets off for the night you know what i mean she gets her cigarettes whatever they make themselves believe the mind is a powerful thing right um all right so she gets her cigarettes and she ain't back till the next day so let me just send her the 10 right um so I think a lot of them think they're helping. All of them, no. A lot of them like to watch the shit show and keep it going, you know? Um, but like I said, a lot of them do 
Yeah, those people don't care. That's not the people I'm talking about. Right. No, I understand. Don't... Yeah. I understand yeah. what you're saying. You know what I mean? And when I'm doing well, like the past two days and not on asking for money, you can do things like this, right? I actually get to talk to some of the people that I've been at odds with, right? And, um, you know, see, respect what they're saying, you know what I mean? Of why they're doing what they've done and do, you know? Well, I hope this continues and you keep doing good and you, you go to rehab and, and everything is up from here. Thank you. I, I hope so too. I really do, but I appreciate that. I do. I'll Just, somebody else can talk. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know who's next. You want to call on somebody or um, I don't know who got up here first, you know? Um, Batty Boo, you want to go? You're beautiful too, Batty Boo. And um, the heart and the star chick, I can't see your name, but you're beautiful too, baby. Okay, if not Batty Boo, Jen? Or, or bull. Tony, you're handsome with your bull picture. Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Hey, my first question is for Kim. Um, so past Sunday, I think it was, you had mentioned how if Lisa wasn't going to get in the car, that you were done. You were done for good. So why aren't you done? Because I'm she still get in the car. programs with her. I'm still trying to get in. Easier said than You're done. Still- I guess. Okay, so, but I thought that everything was, you know, squared away. It was. He did, and I messed it up. That was totally my fault by not getting in the car. Honestly, I wasn't even here. I disappeared on purpose, and that Uh, wasn't. That doesn't mean, or I don't know, you know, that doesn't mean I shouldn't be able to help her to have more options. And just hopefully she doesn't fuck it up this time and she goes because she's starting to get down to the point of where she really is like at rock bottom and she knows it she Mm -hmm. feels it it's just like an everyday thing i don't know how to explain it but she just knows it's a feeling that she has personally and you know she knows she's ready she knows she's ready right right i understand i mean she keeps saying that though it's been like you know Right. What, like 50 times this year? (laughs) I also don't think she's ever had somebody three-way call like, oh, can I also have permission to find out how things are going on your end if she doesn't answer? Can you take my contact number two because of HIPAA? I don't think she has anybody like that that's doing that, you know? I'm literally on the phone with her three-way calling saying, okay, Lisa, answer these questions for this guy Mm -hmm. personal questions you know we're going to get back to you we're going to run your insurance oh can you add my number to that too so you can give me a call in case lisa doesn't answer her phone of course because most of the people would be like i can't talk to you because so now say today i got lisa to sign over her dosing um what's it called records her dosing records, and if sure. she does call Bowling Green, or if she does, or I mean, whatever rehabs that they had to be faxed to, then I can personally call myself and be like, "Hey, did you receive those dosing records? Because it's just on the phone with you and the release form, etc. Blah blah blah." And it's just like set up that way. So I'm trying really hard to get her into a program these last couple days. Yeah, she fucked Monday up, but doesn't mean that she doesn't deserve another chance to go somewhere else. You know, and so many chances you you've given her so many chances, and I, I get it. You know, you want to be the nice friend, you want you want to be there for her, but I feel like at some point you you've got to give like an ultimatum. I mean, you've got to shut it down. And and honestly, can I ask when is the last time you've given her money? Has it been yesterday or today? What happened to the money that Kane, that dude, sent her yesterday? Where'd that go? I don't even think Kane ever sent her money, to be honest. I don't know where it went. I don't think she had a PayPal to give him. I and didn't. she 
using my payment apps and I haven't been giving her money. That's why she hasn't used the last day and a half. She has not been getting money from me. And then when she, her her PayPal and her cash app was working, that was from people on the internet. But I I didn't have control over that cash app or that PayPal. Cause yeah, it didn't I well, look, I mean, I uh, have my problems back in the day. I, I was doing it every day. So my question is, how the hell is she saying that she stopped doing crack two days ago or now it's one and a half days ago and she is, she's good? Like, how is she not going through withdrawal or, you know, hurting right now? That That's that's hard to believe. You don't, you don't go so through So is she really not that. used in two days or is she feeling fine and, you know, getting her breakfast, lunch, and dinner of crack still? It's it's all mental. She's not going to withdraw because she's on methadone. Yeah, it's it's a I mean, methadone. Does methadone, does methadone help for crack? I mean, I don't know that. I don't. No, no, I don't do. Crack, I don't really know that. You don't. I don't think you even really withdraw off crack. I don't know. I've never done it. It's just the mentality and the way you think, and it is literally all mental. Crack is mental, but as far as detox, she's but not that's getting. That is sweating Thanks. over in the bathroom because she's on a decent dose of methadone right now not to add she has her colonopins once in a while that she can use to calm her down so that's exactly so you're, you're okay wait lisa so lisa you're you haven't done crack in two days you're and you're fine today you're not going through withdrawals at all and you're saying the last time you used was two days ago not yesterday and not today but uh, what we're Say is that's why we are pressing the issue of her getting her into a program today. You know, the third day is always the worst. Always, I, mean, I can speak for myself or anybody else, but the third day is the fucking worst. The worst I've gotten so far, at least that I've felt. I mean, I'm miserable. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I wish I could, you know, get some money, but it is what it is, right? But um, I. The worst I got so far is shaky hand. Shaky hands and I want to eat everything in sight. But I just kept asking my mom about food, <laughs> you know. So I have like an appetite. Okay, and then I asked the question about Kane. You guys said even though he offered money, Lisa, you didn't take any money from Kane or anybody on the side, like in the messages yesterday. My PayPal is or, shut or down. Today? My I, I, I answered oh. that about that what happened? Kane sent ten dollars, and your PayPal got locked as soon as he sent it. Yeah. I'm asking Lisa, please. <laughs> Damn. Can yeah. Lisa speak, please? Yes, and I then didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry. My PayPal is down, like usual. Um, and okay, then so uh, whatever Kane sent, you never got any money from Kane or anybody like behind the scenes yesterday. I'm trying to answer that, ma'am. I've already answered it. I asked two I people. I couldn't hear you because of him. Okay. So I apologize. I'm just, I'm very miserable today. Like that actually probably answers your question and reaction right there. I apologize. But um, he, or uh, I asked two people that I text with, okay, um, often and trusted um, if they could cash out, right? So I could get some smokes and stuff. One did. One did not and took the cash app to the discord, put it in there and said that I was emailing people because they obviously didn't want to say, oh, I've been sending her money and texting with her for a month. Right. So that's was the extent, though, honestly, of asking for money yesterday was two people. All right. Well, I'm going to let somebody else uh, get up in here. Thank you. No, thank you. Is it hard to unmute? Like, was it? I don't know, like, how. Or do we have to give them permission? Am I doing something wrong? Damn, it's 507. I know. You're lucky I love you. I know. Thank you. I mean, I don't even know why we're doing this. They're just getting free questions, and they does not need like, I Like you said, when you said I want to show them, like, a little of who we are, Sort of like I that kind of hit home with me a little bit. Okay, um, Tony, you want to go next? 
I am here. Can you hear me? Oh, I have to unmute you. Hold yeah. on. Yeah, I love okay. your pet. <laughs> I appreciate it, Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. I do admit that in the beginning, I was one of those people that had given you money, not knowing, you know, um, anything about you, you know, hoping that everything was okay. And much later down the line, you know, I would still watch you. And mm -hmm. the the one thing that was just personally infuriating to me is that there are times when I really, really feel for you, Lisa. And Aww. when I hear you, when I hear you and I see you crying, it sucks, you know, and I definitely want the best for you. But it, it enrages me knowing that. And this goes with, you know, the whole sucks for you, like being docked sometimes to where you are. But there are times when you are crying for an Uber and yeah. everybody here in the Discord and a lot of people on Facebook, you know, know, you know, the streets where about you live and you're passing these notable so close to your house while you're right. begging, you know, looking for an Uber. You know, right. and that's the stuff that's infuriating to me. So it, it, in the in the sense of being candid and honesty, can you at least just say that there has been uh, at least several times where you've asked for an Uber to go home when you've actually been close to home? Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes. A thousand and one percent. And um, I think I've met it in the past also, but probably not recently but and I, i'm sorry and i i appreciate anything you've ever sent to help i really do um but uh yeah absolutely there have been times where i've been close to home there have been times i needed an uber and people have sent money and i've got one or directly sent one right okay behind the scenes but yeah there are times that i use that or other things you know and gotten money absolutely absolutely I don't think there's that, uh, there's not much like for me to say either. I just know that when you're truthful, that's you being at your most vulnerable. And I think that's where people actually, you know, can get a sense of who you really are. It's just it's really hard with what's going on right now. But to believe I, I get it. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to throw daggers or anything. It doesn't do anything. But I really do hope that you get better. Oh, thank you. Thank that's you. All. Have a safe night. Yeah, you too. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I broke my heart. Kim, I broke my heart. Yeah, I know. That was sweet. Yeah, that was terrible, man. And there's probably more out there like that. That's that's No, oh, yeah. Sure. It took a lot of a lot for him to come up here and 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 say that and do that actually crying you know to see a man cry like i don't understand that yeah i do get on live multiple times a day and there are people watching it that are following it that some really do care and are invested you know what i mean and even though i don't personally know them they feel like you know they are, are rooting you know me on from behind the scenes right and i forget that a lot a lot actually a lot more than i should Okay, um, let's see who else. Um, Brie, you want to go? Yeah, I'll go next. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to be a lot like the last guy, but I don't have any questions for you. Um, I'm going to share my testimony, my situation, um, okay. regarding what you are going through right now. And I'm not crying because of you because I don't know you from Adam I found you obviously on TikTok yes, um, but I am somebody who lost her dad to addiction um, sorry. and found him with a needle in his arm oh, I'm dead so at the age of 10 oh I'm so sorry oh wow so that's something that has haunted me for my entire life Absolutely. and knowing that you have a young child Mm -hmm. I really hope that you get the help that you need because what I've gone through and what I've witnessed at the age of 10, I'm 31 now. So like, it's been a while, but so what I had to witness at the age of 10, no child should ever have to witness. No child should have to ever see their parents in that condition. Right. So I genuinely 
you know, I, I've, I've never sent you money. I have offered to buy you an Uber, which was, who knows if it's actually gotten to you or not. But I genuinely hope that you get the help that you need. I genuinely hope that you find a friend who, who isn't going to support your addiction. Um, I truly hope that, um, <clears throat> you know, I appreciate Kim because she's been there for you. I don't yeah. appreciate Kim because she's given you money to support what is, at the end of the day, killing you. I love that you have somebody that you can speak to and is there for you genuinely because everyone has been in a spot where they have nobody. Right. Yeah. We've that all is been how- there. We've yeah. all been there. And right. I genuinely am so thankful that if you are at your lowest of low and you can reach out to Kim, yep. she's there truthful. for you. Yes. And be truthful 100%, right? Which that's hard Correct. to do. When- but I cannot support her sending you money. I cannot. I cannot, I, I cannot support that at all because she knows what you're doing. Sure, if she sends you a, a DoorDash meal, okay, cool. At least she knows that you're going to either A, eat it, or B, you're not. Yeah, she's but at done least that. she knows that you are not putting it in your arm or putting it up your nose or whatever you're doing with it. Okay, but yeah. I... Regardless, it's all the same. It's all killing you the same way regardless of how you're doing it. <clears throat> and, and even really, if she's buying you a pack of cigarettes cool you can door dash right. somebody a pack of cigarettes that's awesome but i cannot support her sending you money knowing what you're using it for i i just can't i can't but i'm forever i i will say again i don't know you from adam but i will i will say i'm forever grateful that she is there for you to speak with but i truly hope kim i truly hope that you stop feeding her addiction please stop let, if she gets it from someplace else, cool. Let her get it from someplace else. But at the end of the day, if Lisa doesn't wake up tomorrow and you were the last person to send her money, how are you going to feel? How are you honestly going to feel? Even if she didn't use your money to buy whatever she's buying. You're going to feel awful. Of course. I'm sure anybody, you know, would feel would. That's awful. why I will, not send you, I will not send you Venmo or Cash App or PayPal or whatever it is. I'll buy you an Uber, no problem, because I know if you don't get in that car, at least my money went to somebody who's driving a car. You know, it's not going however you're using it, you know? Before, in case you get disconnected or something, I really am sorry about your dad and what happened because I have watched, I have four children from 23 all the way down to my youngest, four, okay? Two boys, two girls, and... I watched when my ex passed four years ago, how it ripped every single one of them at different ages, different sexes apart. And they didn't even witness it. Okay. I just watched what they still go through and have gone through. Right. So I'm very sorry that you had to even be, and you were the one that had to even traumatize. Like just imagine, and I I don't want to bring your child into it, but I mean, a little boy, man, come Mm -hmm. on. You got a little boy who who needs you. He needs you. And I don't know what it's going to take for you to see that, yeah, sure, he's got somebody who's caring for him right now, but you're his mom. Lisa, you're his mom. No, and please, yeah. please open your eyes and see that that little boy needs you because guess what? If you're gone tomorrow, he's four. He knows. He knows what he's seen. He may not be able to speak it right now, but he knows what he's seen. He's no, He knows what you've put him through already. Mm-hmm. It's not like he's four months old and has no clue what's going on. Right. Now I he's four and he sees he sees that you're hurting, you know? And it would be amazing for him to be ten and be like, My mom survived. My mom went through the shit. We went through hell. We got evicted. We did we did the darkest of dark, which I pray nobody has to ever, ever go I through. Agree. And again, I'm so sorry that you that you you experience the eviction like I I never no matter what you're doing no matter what your hardest of hard is I pray nobody ever loses their house like in this day and age it's so hard to keep a roof over your head you know but just imagine if you lost your your house with your child like imagine if you weren't going through what you're going through and it was just that you Mm -hmm. couldn't pay the bills it's not because you were doing drugs or whatever it's just that you couldn't pay the bills then you'd have an army behind you You'd have an army behind you of people that are willing to help you get a roof over your head again. But nobody wants to help you because we know what you're doing with right. it. You're so let your kid get your kid back, man. Get your kid back. 
Get him back the right way. Go to rehab. Let him be. Let him experience his, it probably won't be his next birthday, but his following birthday with his mom. His mom who's alive and not having to go visit her in a grave, man. Nobody wants to go say hi to their mom in a grave. No. And they shouldn't do that. And they shouldn't have to for, you know, when people tell me, you know, in the chat, go OD or why is she even here? She's useless. You know, I think in my head, like, I agree with you, but I'm not ready to go anywhere because it would kill them, kill them, all of them. I've watched. It would. It would. So. I mean, and at the end of the day, all those people that are saying that they wish that you would do whatever, I can't repeat that because I'm not, I'm not, I, I can't support the whole whatever. Hmm. But I, all those people that are saying that to you cannot, like, just, yeah. there's, we all deserve a chance, you know, and this is your chance. This is your chance, Lisa. Uh, this is your chance to get yourself clean for your child, for your children. Don't let you know that you passed away because of what you're doing. Yeah. I, I don't know what happens with that flashback, but I have never had a flashback like that. And you know how like you get that sick breakup feeling, right? Where you're just like, yeah, you can't. I, I got that. Y'all let me in here already once and I had to leave because I, I couldn't get myself to, you know, I'm. Uh, I'm, I am I couldn't get myself to say what I was saying. Yeah, I, you know, I couldn't get myself to say this. And like, yeah. that's my thing. Yeah. Just do it for your kids, Lisa. Don't do it for anybody else. Don't do it for Kim. Don't do it for your mom or your dad. Don't do it for your best friend next door or whoever. Right. Do it for your kids, man. Do it for your kids. Don't let your kids be... Don't let your kids be the one who sees their mom. Yeah. Completely parentless. You know? Dad's gone, and um, yeah, yeah. So don't put them in that position, you know. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'm gonna pray for you. And again, uh, I'm in your chat every time you go live, yeah. and I'm not sending you any money. That's okay. And I pray to God that I see you on the flip side, and I hope that I can say, "Hey, that was me who shared my story of my dad doing what he did." And I, I really hope that you get help, man. I really do. And I'm so sorry about your dad. Really, that kills me because i hate hearing shit like that because I, I i watched it firsthand and um it's traumatizing and it's gonna be you next lisa so yeah. please all right I, i'll let the next person go i pray for you please do what's thank best you. for you and yours and have a have a safe night you too babe thank you, thank you. bye yeah i just wanted to say uh, that took a lot of courage for it her did. to come here and I'm so sorry for your loss. It does um, suck to oh, lose a loved one, especially a parent. I yeah. know she's um, up on the board anymore, but I hope she at least hears me. Um, just nobody like nobody I'm realizes so I was 19 the first time I seen anybody overdose, and it was Big Cole in front of me, and I had to save him. And that did something to me and traumatized me. So I couldn't imagine a child having to have that vision and memory scored in their brain. Right. Cause I was an adult. So yeah. So I just well, want to send over my condolences to her and me too. Her prayers are sent your way. Absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> Carly, you're next. Oh, wait, I have Hello. to unmute you. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hello? I think she's unmuted. I can hear her. Can you hear her? I can hear you. Okay, go ahead, Carly. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> um, But, um, I just... Lisa, um... Yes. Do you, do you want... Do you really truly want to get sober yes truly yes truly it's to the point where you know if the question was asked you know if you could get everything back but still do what you're doing like have an endless supply let's just say that hypothetical mm -hmm. question would you do mm -hmm. it or and the answer to that would be no i am so sick of it that that answer would be no. I could God like a genie, endless supply, but your kids and your house and your whatever, right? Nope. Don't yeah. even want to do it anymore. That 
is how serious I am this time. At least right now. These pat- and it hasn't changed when I woke up today. It still hasn't changed at 5.30 at night. So, <laughs> I'm well, not sure what's uh-huh. going on here. <laughs> Um, well, I, I've gone through, I, I went through 12 years of addiction and I'm, um, I'm recently two years sober and Good job. Congratulations. I, thank you. I, I know what you're going through and I know it's, you know, and you have all these eyes on you. I didn't have any eyes on me. You know, I, I didn't, I didn't want to get clean. I, 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 I you know, I can still like, I'm two years sober, but you know, I think about it every day. Right. And, and I, you know, I think anybody in recovery is going to, you know, still think about it. But, you know, I don't have everything back, you know, and, you know, it takes a lot of time, you know, but, and I have. Um, two out of my three kids, I lost, um, my, uh, my first child, he's with his, um, dad, he, um, will be seven in December, and I haven't saw him since he was 14 mm-hmm. months old, and I'm going on two years sober, and I still haven't seen him, but, you know, you, you still, you still have a chance, you know, to have him in your life and all your other kids, and Lisa, I'm telling you, like, it gets better. It gets it gets so much better, you know. Like I said, I didn't I didn't want to get clean. I I kind of had no choice. I had to. I couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. I couldn't take that That's life your- anymore. And you know, I you know, and I I I do. I live I live um. Do you know where like Wexford and Cranberry Absolutely. is? Yes, ma'am. My parents lived on right Grand School Road for well. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I I work I work in Cranberry, and listen, I I just wanted to let you know, you know, I've been to five different rehabs okay. around the area, and like I like that other girl said, like I I I can't, I won't give an addict, you know, still using any money. I can't do that. But what I can do, you know, I live, you know so close to you like i'm i'm you know i don't care what anybody would say i'm i'm willing to you know help you i would take you to a rehab i would you know try to get you some clothes try to you know i'd buy you a pack of cigarettes i i want to see you know you have all these people looking at you you know and they want to see you get better right and you know i'm telling you your life will get better if you do Know. And if you need, I will, me or Kim will DM you my number since you are so close. I'm very close. Um, like, I'm only, I'm literally, like, you know, your address has been out there and I put it in my phone. I'm, I literally am only like 45 minutes away from you. Okay, yeah, that's, it's not, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, One of us will shoot you my cell phone number. It's out there, but I don't know how easy I, it is to access. Um, right. But it is out there. Um, but uh, I will shoot it to you in a DM. And, yeah, we can absolutely speak. And, you know, I, I do usually bond with people that have went through similar things. So I've been through every child I've had. I have, like I said, I had three. I've gone through CYS with every single one of them. I am on methadone. I'm on, I've been on it for two years. I, like, everybody's different with how they go about it. but. Um, we sound like I'm not going to go into every sound like twins. What's girl. that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> so we sound like twins. You sound like you're like saying my story because I've had them on every Ugh. single one of my kids too. But it was always people getting mad at me for something that had nothing to do with the kids and using them as retaliation. If that makes sense. Yeah, that that does. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> this is <laughs> because like they've actually go ahead. Which I did deserve it for them to take him. I did deserve it, right? But um, yeah. they have been around the whole time since I was 16. But it was always, like I said, a big thing for some reason in Pittsburgh. If you get mad at somebody, get under their skin to call CY up. It's stupid, really. It's just, uh, yeah. Because trust me, I've had plenty of people call on me. And I've had them 
come knocking at my door with, you know, I'm I'm half falling asleep because I just got hot. Like it's yeah, I've been through it all. That's why, like, I've been yeah. I've been really really wanting to talk to you and like just tell you like if I am so close and if you really really are truly, if you really want help. I, I I really am willing to help you. I, like I said, not with any money, but with like rehab or any like the places that I've went to. Like you're, you know, we have the same insurance. Like I can, I if you really, if one of you two could really get a hold of me, I don't care what anybody says because I don't care, you know, what people I, have to I say. Don't mean I, it, I don't mean to interrupt. I don't mean to interrupt real quick, Lisa. Do you have all them resources? All have you been resources. given? Have you been given resources for rehab and beds and stuff like that? From you, yes, and Cynthia, yes. So, what, 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 what is the point of this this Discord right now? What are we I, doing? I'm, I guess, answering questions. Do you want to go to rehab, and do you want to change your life? Yes, yes. We, I you do. know, we're you know we're in a pattern right now, right? Is it, you know, I can't see the chat. I'm on my, actually on my way to go trick-or-treating with my cousin's son that I've been raised in since he was uh, five months old. Okay? You, you, you guys... Off. Huh? You completely cut Carly off. Can you just... <laughs> you know yeah. what? I, I'm, this is... Uh, I'll, I'll Call me later, Carly, Lisa. Carly, I've, been, I've been pretty much waiting all day. I've been waiting for like two hours to get up in a box. I'll call you. I'll call I mean, you I've been soon. waiting like an hour and a half at least to get into the box. Okay, like I, I'm, I'm sorry if you want to go. Here. Go ahead. I just was. I just like sorry. I know we all want to talk to Lisa. Trust me. Know, trust me. They're, all, they're, they're gonna have their chance, but I just wanted you to be like, able yeah. to up real quick. I said. I, I said. I was apologizing for interrupting. I did say that. I'm sorry. I, 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 anyway, I that's okay over. because. Yeah, I just said like it. I'm I'm like you could even talk to my mom if we had time. She'd get on here and she'd tell you, but she um talks a mile a minute, so I'm not gonna do that. But um but yeah, so thank you for letting me up here. I know other people wanna talk and everything, but but yeah, so please just remember that and I if you did do that, I'm gonna message I did. you. I just did it. Okay. Well how All right. was nice trick or treating. Yeah. Oh, thank said. you. It was nice talking to you guys finally. And I'm yeah, gonna message you. you, Lisa, okay? Okay. All right. Bye guys. Bye. See Kim, that's what I like doing these though, because she said she's been trying to get me, right? Yeah. And can't because of how bombarded I get, which you know. And yeah, know. she got me, right? Yeah. She so. messaged like, please add me. So, Betty Boo, did we finish? I mean, did we figure out how to do the mic yet? Or I are did. People, are people really with yeah, that? Don't worry about it, Lisa. It's all about you anyway, right? I mean, it's supposed to be all about you. Unfortunately. <laughs> so, um, one, I would only say that once we put our shit out online, it's always going to be like that. And it kind of leads me to my question. Mm -hmm. When you get clean, mm -hmm. are are you scared of the amending part that you're going to have to do? You're going to have to make up a lot of the things that you've done. You got a lot of apology stuff. Are you scared of that? Yes. Very terrified. Yeah. It's okay. That's good. There's nothing wrong with being afraid of anything. But Terrible. when you're afraid of something and you do it anyway, you're brave. You know, yeah, because people don't really, you know, know me, know me, right? And 
you know, I know my sisters have come out and said it, but deep down, like, I really am, like, a people pleaser and, like, a timid person, right? And shit eats at me, right? So if I do feel that I, you know, did something wrong to somebody and I'm 100%, you know, myself and stone cold in me, it it's going to be it's going to be a lot well it's got to be because you've been doing it for so long so it just built up you know and and so my son is an addict and i'm okay, sorry person. to hear that well he's actually in recovery he's clean for 2.4 years now but and he's oh, clean that's today I, it is he's been doing excellent he's had a job for two years he's got this is the first year he's got two weeks vacation so okay. many congratulations Zach, they said congratulations. Uh He says thank you. We're going to the haunted house tonight. But I'm going to tell you this. Um, You know how I got him clean? How? I set him up and got him arrested and put in in jail. How long did he stay? If you don't mind me asking. Three years. Oh, shit. Before he went before a judge. And then he had 11 months of 29 days. And the moment he walked out the door, we put him in a rehab where he will have been. I didn't put him there. I said, you know, this is the way it's going to be. You're going to either go to prison or your ass is going to get clean. Because his other choice is, what's his other choice, Lisa? Do you know what his other choice is? Prison or death, right? That's right. So if you're you're either going to stay out there, baby doll, and do what you got to do, or you are going to get clean because your two choices are prison or death. How do no. you amend a relationship if you're dead? No, you're right. And I would hate to leave things with my children the way they are right now with this image and, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's, a good, that's a good motivator. And you said you're clean right this second. Good. Yeah, just like a day, day and a half. It's nothing major, but somebody did ask, so I was. <coughs> I just swallowed a Twizzler. I raided my next door neighbor. <coughs> <Ooh. laughs> anyway. okay. It's okay. We live up here in the in Gatlinburg, and we just put our candy out on the sidewalk, and they walk around to pick it up. You know, we, we also keep the bears away. We've got bells out and everything right now, so. But if you were, I know that you're on a high dose of that. Yeah. Is that correct? Okay. A high dose of what? <laughs> I'm yeah. I mean, 80 milligrams. So, I mean, that's, I guess, <laughs> but high. 80 a day? Every morning. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Doctor needs to leave this office, and you're on KPN. Right? Mm-hmm. I don't take them every day, but yes, yes, I'm prescribed them. Yeah, I uh, actually, I heard a story, and I'm not going to go into that story. But do you know that the propensity for overdose at that level of methadone, mixed with any kind of benzoid, has you at a 91 percent chance of overdose? Yeah, that's why they wouldn't give me the take homes with, even though I didn't take them and wasn't showing up every month in my urine. Um, they yeah. had to be safe. You also can not take every day, though. Sorry to talk over you. You dose every day, which means you've been dirty. Right? At this new one? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I know how messed up. I mean, it's different state by state, but they all are, are mandated by the FDA. So I know those people. Well, I don't go Wednesday, and then I get a bottle for Wednesday, and then the weekends they're closed. So I get a bo- get I get bottles. Right, but what I'm saying is that you have, and, and methadone is a double light with a half light. So I mean, that whatever you feel today, you feel tomorrow. And it was actually made in Germany during World War II. With the whole idea was that even if your leg were broken, you would be able to walk across Europe to attack all the hours. Did you know that? Can you repeat that last part, even if what? So they, they, the German army created methadone as a cheap way to manage pain 
so that when their soldiers were injured, they could walk across Europe and, and wouldn't have to be dosed every day. They had, they had to be dosed every other day. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did read okay. like that they were the ones that made it. Yes. I know so, you're really, really, uh, you're coming off of your C and that you're kind of scared of that. And that's always going to be back there and scratching at your brain. But mm -hmm. because of the mat, you're going to be okay for at least another 24 hours before you start having any kind of major bad day. Well, you feel bad? Yeah. Your stomach's going to probably be a test. But, you know, a little ginger ale, you be all right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, do you dream at night? When you do I dream? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, yes. Are they bad? Are they, bad, are they bad dreams? They're usually about, you know, my parents throwing me out, my kids, like something that has to do with real life, at least the ones I remember, you know. So you're reliving past negative events. Yeah, or like something's like happening bad, like that hasn't happened oh. yet. Oh, so you're worrying anxiety when you sleep. That's oh, yeah. Horrible. Bad anxiety. Bad. How long has it been since you've had a good drink? Since I've had what? How long has it been since you have had a good drink? <sighs> Months that I can at least remember at one, right? That, you know. So you don't sleep good. Um, you know, no, not at all. All. And, and I, I know you've had a lot of loss and, you know, I in it. To be rude, but can we just wrap this up just because we have so many other people that want to talk? Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. yeah, that's fine. Um, just real quick, you know, I love a comeback story, right? Oh, yeah, and I, want, and I want you to come back, but there's only one kind of honesty, Lisa, and it's just being honest, it's not as honest as you can be because you're only being honest for your life. And uh, I'd rather hear you tell me that you need $20 for a rock, then I would you lie to me and tell me that you need $20 for an Uber. Understand? Yeah. So I, I actually, yeah. Start telling the truth and start there and start out on a right foot in a right direction. Kim, you guys are, I'm glad you guys are friends. You've got you. No matter what you guys do together, or if it's good or bad, everybody, you guys have a great day. Thank All you. Right. Yeah, thank you. Okay, um, since Space Gal isn't muting, I guess you can go next. Can you hear me? Yep. Um, I have one question for you. Um, I'm a year sober and clean. Do you ever see yourself in the future having that level of sobriety and if you do could you describe it and you can mute um, me i'm done yes um i do as weird as it sounds to say it I, I do i have um you know been you know had long long stretches of clean time you know on methadone but long i mean years and years um so you know i know it's doable i just but yeah, absolutely. Um, like, if you, where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself with your kids? Do you see, like, actually scenario? Like, actually think about it and, and talk it out to yourself. Because the more you talk it out to yourself, sometimes you can make it happen. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know about that. I, I don't know anymore about that part. Um, I, I hope so, deep down. Really, really do. I would think you just want to take it a day at a time. But. I also. Yeah. Unfortunately. Get for you, so. Well, no, that makes sense. I mean, like a minute at a time, hour at a time right now, right? Yeah. Okay, well, she uh, got down. So the next one is um, Brett. Brett Tawny. Hello, how are you guys? 
How are you? Good. I'm going to be fast and to the point. Um, first, I want to say everyone in the chat who's coming up and asking Lisa, um, you know, when were you honest about this? Can you admit that you lied about that? You it's apparent that you don't know anything about addiction. It's it doesn't it's not helpful to try to put her on the spot. She's in active addiction. It, it just doesn't help. Once Lisa gets to a point where she's ready to admit things, make amends, whatever whatever we're calling it, she'll be at that point. That's that's her thing. That is she doesn't owe us anything. I agree with with that. I mean, it doesn't do anything. You know what I mean? Really? I mean, everybody. I've admitted it before many, many times. I mean, it's not a secret. You know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy to me. It just makes you uncomfortable. I don't know if it gives people some false sense of superiority. I'm not sure what it does for people, but it's crazy to me. Um, the real reason I wanted to talk to you, though, <clears throat> is to say that I had sent you an email um, about a um, week ago um, and offered you, it was, it was when you, whenever it was that you were asking for resources, I had okay. sent you an email and said, hey, I know of these specific programs. If you have any interest, if you need help, if you whatever, I will get on a plane. I will come there. I'll rent a car. I will ensure you get where you need to be, when you need to be there, have the things you need. And I didn't hear back. So I just wanted to let you know, you know, it sounds like you guys have something kind of figured out. Um, if that falls through or whatever, that, that offer is absolutely open. What email did you send it to? Uh, Lisa, Lisa Harvey. Okay, uh, yeah. At whatever that is. Yeah, it's me. Okay. Um, so, and my, my name is the same here and on TikTok. Um, so I'm pretty easy to find. Um, and honestly, I just, I also want to say something to Kim. Um, I know People are kind of coming for Kim talking about, you know, I want to be clear and say, Kim, I don't agree with everything that you've said and everything you've done, but that's, I don't need to. Um, but I do believe that Kim, uh, girl, I do believe that you care about Lisa. I think though that you don't, that you need help. I think you need help in trying to help, if that makes sense. Um, I don't think that you are strong enough to help Lisa get where she needs to be without enabling her, if that makes sense. Um, and I don't mean this in a negative way towards anyone, but, you know, Lisa, you're good at it. Like, manipulation is something you do well. Um, and I just don't think that, Kim, that you are, I don't think you're strong enough yourself to not be manipulated, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's way tougher as our friendship went on. Way, way tougher, right? I, right. I noticed it happened. Um, and then the last thing I have to say is those of you in the chat talking about whether Lisa's been clean for a day, a day and a half, two days, she's not in withdrawals, whatever, Please do your research. Right. She's not going to be suddenly mm -hmm. violently ill mm -mm. from not to having I'm... crack for two days. That's not I'm... how it oh. The methadone, that would be a different story. Totally. But Lisa, I do also want to say to you, Lisa, that yeah. even I know people accuse you of taking fentanyl and all the things. Um, and mm -hmm. no matter what it is, it terrifies me for you, like for your life, right. just as a whole, this terrifies me because, you know, so many things are laced and no. it just, I, I agree with you. And, uh, yeah. I started to get a little scared because of my weight, to be honest, at my old place. Um, I think I'm doing way better with that since I've been over here with my parents and things, but, um, 
yeah, it, it started to scare me a little bit to the point where I was like, yeah, this isn't going to, my body's not going to last much longer. And I mean, yeah, you're right. It's like, that's a real thing. Mm -hmm. you know, your body it's eventually real. says, I can't take any more of your nonsense. Yeah, I could feel it. I could see it. I could, all of it. You know what I mean? It was scary, actually. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Um, but that's all I had to say, ladies. Um, absolutely feel free to reach out to me. I, you know, the offer has been extended. I most certainly am not made of money, but I will absolutely, I won't just send money to anyone. Um, but I would absolutely help you get where you needed to be so that you could take the steps that you need to take. Nobody is going to help you get clean. Every bit of this is on you. The only thing we can do is offer resources, offer right. assistance in getting you there. Agreed. So, um, I appreciate the yeah, offer. But, yeah, we appreciate you coming up and sharing. Thank you, ladies. Have a good rest of your evening. Um, and like I said, the offer's been extended. The ball is in your court at that point. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. All, right. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, Rebel, you want some of this? I'm trying to eat dinner. It's like six o'clock. You're good. My hoagie's getting cold, yo. Um, Heather, you want to go next? So, I have a couple in the drop down and make it like I know a lot of people have been waiting a while. Uh, first thing I want to say is I want to apologize to tech. Um, Lisa, you know as well as I do, I've been watching you for a long time. I've been around since. And I've been breaking. You're breaking uh, up. Your Wi Fi is breaking up. I'm not sure if there's like one spot you can stand in so we can hear you. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I had my Wi Fi on. I had to turn it off. Um, no, okay. I was just saying that I wanted to. What? I just wanted to let you know because we couldn't hear oh. your sentences and yeah. stuff. Yeah, no, thank you. Um, no, I was just saying, I'm just going to say a couple things and then I'm going to hop down because I know some people have been waiting. I said the first thing that I wanted to say was I wanted to apologize to tech because I know tech. Um, Lisa, I'm not far from your tech. I've been watching you a long time. I've talked to you a couple times, although you might not remember, and that's okay. Um, but I've been around for a while. Um, I've been around for, you know, Jace had brain cancer. I was around when, um, you know, Annabelle died in Baltimore. I was around for all of that. And I can tell you in the entire time I've been watching you, I think the only person that I've ever seen come into your life that truly cared about you was her. And so she's giving you these resources. I know you're on methadone. I know you have to have a waiver. I was a director of a rehab, not an hour north of you. So I, I know all the things, but here's my issue. Are you doing this because you want to answer questions or are you doing this to get more people in your lives for a money grab or a um, guilt, a, a sympathy, you know, a sympathy live so that people like that young lady Carly that came up that really is traumatized from addiction will give you money in the forms of possibly helping you. That's my issue. Um, I wish you nothing but the best. Absolutely. I'm also in recovery, but this is not about me. This is about you and I want to keep it there. And I've also had people die in my life, right? My dad and my brother overdosed same day a year apart. So I get it. I get the trauma that addiction can bring on all sides of it. But here's the thing. You got to help yourself. Ain't nobody going to take your hand and take you into rehab and pat you on the butt and say, okay, Lisa, let's go. We can do this. No, girl, you got to pull up the panties. You got to bust your ass and get it done. And that's all I have to say. Uh, like I said, I wish you nothing but the best, Lisa. Um, and that's it. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Hello. Why the constant changing of the PayPal, PayPal and Venmo? There's literally been hundreds and hundreds. Why do you always, what's with the changing? The changing is, okay, yeah, the changing is because, um, you know, the 
people, you know, that are, a lot of them that are in their lives, nine times out of ten, not even people that have sent or have, any, you know, have ever sent, um, report the payment apps, right? And then I have to make new, new ones, you know what I mean? So then it has to change. Or we'll change the tag so that it can't be found and reported, you know, little things like that. But So it may be the same one, Cash App, but it just has a different name because you can change the tag three times, right? Um, okay. You know, just little about um about the kids and whatnot you know i've seen abby's tiktok and um you know she's she's talked extensively of you know finding both you and cole before overdosed i've never i've never i've never overdosed i needed narcan ever in my life i've nodded out for sure (laughs) really quick so you're 40 years old right do you yeah. feel like you've been coddled your whole life? Um, mm-hmm. I think my parents did it and still do. I think that then Big Cole took over and did it. Um, mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. It's so crazy to me if you really want to go to rehab. Like, why would you need anyone to call rehabs for you? Why would you sign over your dosing records? I mean, you're 40 years old. You're a grandma, for fuck's sake. Right? Don't you think it's time to do something for yourself? Like something for yourself? Why why are you like putting this into Kim's hands to do? Well, when she was doing it, I when she started doing it, I guess I wasn't ready. Like honestly, I had no plans on any of this until I had that dream on Sunday. I no plan, no whatever, in one ear and not the other. Okay, so Sunday you were ready. So why aren't you there yet? Don't say there's no beds available. There are absolutely beds that take Medicaid that will dose you at the way higher than 80 milligrams a day that you take. Okay, let's be honest. If we're being honest, then be honest. Yeah, that's right. You've said it before. I said what? You've said the dosage. That you take, and it is much higher than eighty a day. I mean, does it matter really? What does it, it matter? Does honest, if no. You're talking really, about being honest. It really? It, okay, but it really doesn't. It's really nobody's business if it's two milligrams, two thousand milligrams. I, I mean, I, what difference does that make? Well, I guess it's because you're claiming to be honest right now, right? You're I saying know. you're being honest, and so you're you're actually you talking, not. No, are you talking about? Months ago, when I said I was at 120, but now I'm at 80. What about the ID? Is your ID expired? It's not, is it? No, it's absolutely expired. I don't even have the expired one anymore. The girl that stole my shit has it. It was in my wallet. Okay. Okay. So, again, you know, you're a 40 year old grandmother. You've you've lost, you lost two, uh, the two older kids. You lost them while you were still with Cole. No, I, I never lost them. I don't know. I've never okay. lost any of the kids. Uh, this Jace was the first one that's ever been taken, ever. Yes, had custody of Abby Who? when she was a minor. She had custody of Abby for a month because Jesse lived in a better school district, okay? And she threw Abby. And her shit in garbage bags out on the street. And me and Big Cole had to go pick her up. Because she couldn't handle Abby's mouth. Okay, so was- let me guess. Nicole, what your about- parents had custody of her. Why? My parents never had custody of Nicole until CYF got involved when Big Cole left a couple years ago. And I had to sign custody of Nikki to them. And custody of little Big or little Cole to Big Cole's mom. So why? I mean... Like, you're 40 years old, you've never had a job, you're a grandmother, I hope you get better, but honestly, the fact that you're still lying on this Discord leaves me no hope, and I I hope I'm wrong, and I wish you the best, but the fact that you're still lying, this is bullshit. Have a good day. You too, be safe, honey.
what happened. Six six two one six. Are you still there, Cam? Can I hear anybody? Somebody can go. I'm not sure how to unmute you guys. I'm sorry. Did we end up addressing that question, Lisa? I'm back. I couldn't hear anything. Why can't I hear now? What the fuck did I do? Well, when you're on your main profile... I think I have to turn you up. Hold on. God. I have to... She said scroll up. Change audio. Skr. Okay, there we go. Okay, I can hear you now. <laughs> 